welcome back again with Malit Official. Today I'll walk you through with the new feature for Microsoft OneDrive Mac users. That is files on demand for OneDrive. The most common issue we face today is we do not have enough disk space on our devices. One of the reasons is that cloud drives uses online file saving and as well as offline file saving. When the offline file saves on your device, it uses the capacity of the drive of your PC or laptop. That decreases the free amount of space you need to work. That stops today. With Microsoft OneDrive files on demand, you can manage which file needed to be downloaded and which has to be on cloud. So let's get started with Microsoft on files on demand OneDrive. To download files on demand for OneDrive version, I will add the link in the description below. You can visit using any browser in Mac device. Please remember this files on demand for Mac preview build only. The final version will be available soon and I'll make sure I'll update the link to download the latest version. To install this version, you must prepare your device that I'll be showing you at the end of this video. So after downloading the OneDrive file, you double click on it and you install the device. Give your credentials to install and it takes few minutes to install this according to your device. After few moments of installation, it will prompt you whether you need to keep the installation file or don't that's your decision to keep after that you have to launch onedrive after launching onedrive it will prompt you to give the email address which you have to associate to the cloud storage that's your decision your personal or working email address after that click on sign in and here you can see that it prompts to send the notification to my microsoft authenticator because i have configured for passwordless enter I put in the link in the description below how to configure your email address to log in with passwordless. After confirming, they will prompt you the default location. And the next slide, it will show you how the files will be indicated with the icon with the cloud, that means which is not saved on your device and with the tick marks and everything. After that, got it and you can open your OneDrive files. After opening, if you do not see the icons or the notification icons of the device that means whether it's on cloud or not you have to relaunch your finder that you have to do is by pressing command and option right click on it and click relaunch after relaunching now you can see that the indicators are available so now what we will do is we will make sure we download the file so we will maximize the window over here so you can see it properly right click and you can see there are now two options always keep the file on the device and free of my spaces now while you click on the always keep a file on pc and we will see on the cloud here that the file is been downloaded on the onedrive icon when you click it you can see the file is been downloaded to the render now you can see the icon has been changed to a green color tick that means the file is offline so if you want to free up the space again what you have to do is click back on the file over here and we will select free up this space at that moment it will be again deleted from the pc and it will be on the cloud again now i will show you the information of the file i'll right click and say get info in this you see the file size and the size on disk that means zero percent on the disk so that means the file is in the cloud so likewise, you can keep the file or you can download it, keep an offline copy or keep an online copy for your work. So like this, you can space up the work. As you can remember, I mentioned that you have to prepare your PC before downloading the insider build of the OneDrive files on demand. So what you have to do is in the link in the description below, click on that and you have to make sure that your OS is updated to macOS Mojave 10.14. And you have to click on the OneDrive inside the update ring. When you click on that, a file will be downloaded to your PC. After what you have to do is you have to run the script. Then later you have to download the file. So after downloading the script, we'll open the script file, copy the content, press command and space to get the search icon. Then type terminal in, paste the content on the terminal and it will automatically run now your pc is being prepared to install the insider 
update of OneDrive files on demand. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get alert of my future videos.